think it's massively different. I think the independence you gain when you come here and the different style of uh, how things are run and the formalities of college is a lot different to a sixth form. And instead of having that uh, confining structure that some students just dislike and don't don't take to, I think it's a lot different. And I think that benefits a lot of pupils massively. I think that allows pupils to gain that sort of a sense of themselves and it gives them a bit more comfort in college and uh, with their learning it allows them to express themselves and by expressing themselves by what they wear and what they're doing around college it also allows them to express themselves with their learning and find what works for them and uh, benefits how their grades will go up and how they take to all the learning in general. Uh, I'd say the way that tutors speak to you and the way they give you that independence instead of asking for constant homework assignments and formalities and stuff like that it's a lot more your learnings in your own hands and your capability and how much you take to it is how much you will succeed and progress and obviously you have the boundaries and have the borderlines and college do push you but evidently it's up to you with how much you learn and people will excel uh, with how much work they put in. Definitely, I think how how much well, I think my grades are down to me ever uh, at the bottom line, and I I want to push that to the best of my ability. And I think college really gives me the freedom to do so. We've not been from uh, nine till three every day in that constant structure. It gives me a bit more independence and freedom to take my learning into my own hands and really progress in my own way. Well, it's because old pupils don't learn in the same way and having that sort of way to express yourself and do your learning in your way really means that your grades will go up and it's your learning in the bottom of the bottom of the, the end of the day is probably better to say and uh, by having that freedom allows you to find out what works best for you and that's the main that's the main idea of this because obviously going on to uni afterwards it's the same sort of structure so it really sets you up for that and puts you in good step. Enjoyment out of college, yeah, well, yeah, yeah I, I massively enjoy it. I, th I think I've really uh, found myself over these last two years and had that had that freedom to do so. And I think I've had a lot of fun with the, the people around here and the tutors and my learning in general. I felt I feel like having that freedom has given me a lot more enjoyment out of my learning. I've definitely found what works for me now, and I'm looking forward to doing the exams afterwards. My students, oh, it's, it's a great, it's a great relationship because we have that sort of a bit more independence and freedom. We've really been able to connect outside of the learning, and being able to go out on nights out and just explore Canada stuff. Because we're in the same boat with being young adults. Obviously, after uni, it can be a daunting experience, but it's really brought us together. We're having that freedom and that away from learn, that away from time in lessons and constant pressure. We've had that ability to become better friends, and it's really benefited uh, our learning together in lessons as well. How's it been? Because we've got a better friendship bond, I feel like we all crack on, we all know what we want out of the lessons and we all know where we need to progress. And we can also all help each other as well because we're both, we're all talking a lot more and we're a lot closer as friends. We can help each other to study and help each other to understand where our weaknesses are and learn as a, as a group more than individuals, but also as well on that individual basis, we can help each other. Outside the academics, so obviously there's a safeguarding team around college to support pupils that are may, maybe not pushing themselves to as much as they are capable of and maybe going off on different tangents. And the tutors are also really good at pulling you back in if you are going off on a bit of a tangent as well. And it's all about, but evidently it is up to you and the tutors will recognise that. But if you are going off, there's obviously a massive team around college that are support network and stuff like that. There's great facilities around college to make sure that you are learning. Obviously the hub and the LRC gives you a good environment to work in and those sort of having those facilities and support networks around college really benefit pupils. Uh, yeah definitely uh, before coming to this college I was wondering about the financial th side of things but the college have been great with supporting me through that with uh, stuff like free bus passes and textbooks and stuff like that and also they pay for a lot of online courses and online textbooks that you can uh, access through through the internet here and through the computers here so it's really benefited me I, I that was a really big struggle for me and was one of the factors that maybe put me off college at first but once i uh, spoke to the college itself and got in contact with them they were really good with helping me fill out the forms and helping me understand how it would be supported and how it would work for me when i got here Well, I think it just gives a bit more diversity into college and it adds people in and 
yeah, I think it gives everyone a chance really because obviously financial backgrounds and difficult backgrounds can obviously be a struggle and be a factor that maybe people not want, not want to go into these higher education programs or such as A-levels or such as university. And I think giving the people that opportunity and that option really helps and I think it's a really nice thing to do and really generous of college to do so. I think it's just a great thing in general. I'd say it's great. I'd say when you're at um, a sixth form or at school, it's a lot more, they have a lot more pupils to take care of and they have a lot more responsibility due to teaching different age groups and different year groups and obviously uh, maybe like sporting commitments and stuff like that within the school. But when you're at a college, it's a lot more personal based. It's the smaller classes and it's a lot more one to one time. And I feel like I have a lot closer bond to my tutors here than I would have done at sixth form or at uh, school. Uh, the way they speak to you and the way they take care of you and ask how you're doing each day, it just it's a really it's a it's a lot more personal bond. And I feel it makes you a lot more comfortable in the classrooms and in your lessons. And you feel like you can speak to them a lot more if you are struggling as well. It just makes you feel a lot more at home in the college and it feels I feel like it benefits your learning a lot more as well. Having that close bond means I can go up to the tutors and say oh, if I'm struggling and if I'm not and they can also see where I'm struggling with my learning and push me in different ways and give me these different ways of learning so if I'm a, a lot more visual learner they might put more visuals on the board for me or give me a lot more vibrant colours in the worksheets. I feel like that having that personal bond with your tutors benefits you in so many ways and it also gives you a lot more of a support network around college. You feel like if you are struggling there's someone there to help you. I say really don't worry. I, I came from obviously a grammar school that was very strict to the book and it was very uh, they expect a lot from you and uh, my parents were very much the same of having that um, quite scare of it would be a lot more lenient and a lot I would go off uh, just be having fun and enjoying being a young adult but I'd say co no, college is a really good really good environment to learn in it's very positive and the way the way these structure things are here is not in a sense where it's not informal it's very much you you cracking on with your own learning and they'll push you to the best of your abilities and I would say if you have any worry just come in and talk to the college or come in and have a look around speak to people and having that bit of comfort really helps you settle in and I think I'd say I'd say look at look at the statistics online and I'll tell you a lot of people excel here and it's, it's all about how you learn personally and I'd say it's not all about academics there is a lot of sides to this college that gives you a lot more chance to grow but um, realistically you pe pupils do excel here and they do do really well it's not it's not an informal or non-academic environment it's very much a learning environment and i'd say it's a very positive one to be in so they'll definitely learn and excel and succeed uh, kendall uh, was a very, it was a very different place to me because i grew up in morecambe and leeds and i grew up uh, obviously i went to school in lancaster so coming here but i'd say it would have been a lot quieter and not as much going on there was less distractions for me to get involved in where when i was here and i'll concentrate a lot more on my learning i'd say it's a really nice place to be around it's it's got lovely scenery and walking around it just makes you feel a lot uh, a lot more at home with it being a lot smaller and i feel like i know a lot more of the pupils just by walking around with it not being such a big place and so, so much going on I chose because I sort of wanted to get away from the whole high school and school environment. I felt like I'd been there for so long, I kind of wanted a change of scenery. And I thought college offered that and the A-levels he offered were a lot more suited for what I wanted to do, uh, especially with psychology and sociology because they don't uh, study them at the, the grammar school. So I decided I wanted to move here, get a change of scenery and see some new faces and just try something new. Oh yeah, definitely. I feel like the w way I was learning at sixth form, I thought it, I always thought it was the right way and the most positive way to do it. But coming here, I had a massive change and realization about there's different ways to learn, there's different structures you have uh, to your learning in general. And I feel like coming here, I've uh, found them ways a lot more and I've explored them more. And having the freedom to do so, I feel like uh, the friends I've met and the time I've had here has been really beneficial to me for succeeding within myself and within my academics. Uh, no, it's few, so I applied to university, hopefully going to Leeds, and I'd uh, love to do psychology, I want to be a counsellor uh, at the end of it. So I'll be going to, be going to Leeds and hopefully doing a few placements while I'm there in my university course, and then go on to do counselling and therapy. 
I feel like it's going to be a great chance. It really, uh, realistically, I just need to get to university and then progress from there. And I feel like it's set me in the best steps to do so there. But it's also given me a lot more opening to options that I didn't think I had with apprenticeships and stuff like that. It's really opened me up. And it's really, I feel like the way that they've helped me with my UCAS application and the way they've uh, sorted me out for all the forms and stuff like that has really benefited me and opened my eyes to what I want to achieve. And it's really made me goal driven for the future. Definitely. So speaking to uh, Sinead and Head of A-Levels, she's really helped me out with my UCAS application, what to write and what to say to get into the courses I want to do, and really helped me look at my uni options and look at other options as well. Speaking to my tutors in general, they've uh, also said w uh, if they think I should be doing this course or that course, really helping me set up and decide what I should be doing in my future, uh, being realistic and optimistic at the same time. Uh, if you come, if you're deciding you want to come to college and you do make that decision, I'd say it's a really good opportunity to make new friends. And if you do come here, uh, really take everything in its stride. You know, make friends, make connections with people, talk to your tutors, and really take it the best you can because you will excel and do so well here if you just open your mind to it and give it a chance.